Hi, I'm Ruben Saltzman with Structure Tech Home Inspections. Today's topic is non-contact voltage testers. So as a home inspector, this is one of the most basic tools you can have. It's, it is supposed to be used to detect whether a circuit is live or not, or whether a wire is live or not. And I say supposed to because you can end up with false positives with these devices. One nice example is if you just you take a live wire and you wrap a dead wire around it and then run it out, that dead wire is now going to fool your tick tracer. As you can see in this little clip here, every time I hold my well, I tick tracer, see I call it different things, every time I hold this close to that wire, it lights up. There is no current on that wire, but it's telling my voltage sniffer that there is current. Another way that you can get a false positive with a voltage sniffer is that you may have purchased a voltage sniffer that detects low voltage. Now, if you go to the store, and I've, I've gone to like Home Depot, Menards, Lowe's, all the big home improvement stores, and all I can find on the shelf is voltage detectors that run in the 50 to, I think, one, yeah, 1,000 volt range. Now, 50 volts is getting pretty low. That's, that's low voltage. That is not traditional household wiring. I don't buy those anymore. Uh, one day, somebody gave me a really good tip and said, you should buy the ones that start at 90 volts and higher if you're looking for household current. So that's all I buy now. And I buy them online because I, I can't find any local retailers that have them. The one that I like, uh, I, I use this one made by Fluke. It's the Fluke Volt Alert 2AC. Love this thing. It's always on. You, you, you never turn it off. If you want to make sure that your batteries are good, you just press the button on there and it lights up. And uh, it costs about, I don't know, 20, 30 bucks, something like that. I've had the same one for probably, I think, about three years now. And it, it's, it hasn't died on me. It's very reliable. So I think it's a, if you're a home inspector, it's a really good idea to get one that detects 90 volts and higher. Besides checking for live wires, a home inspector can use this to find out if surfaces are properly grounded or not. If you have an ungrounded fixture, like, like say a light fixture right above a bathroom sink, that's a potential safety issue. If you had a wire that shorted out with the housing of that metallic fixture and it wasn't grounded, that fixture would be silently energized. You wouldn't know that it was energized until you came in contact with it and you can get a shock. Now, if you're touching that fixture and you happen to be touching a grounded surface like a metal faucet that's connected to copper water lines that go down into the basement, into the ground, and get bonded to the electrical panel, making for a really good circuit, if you touch that light and you touch that faucet at the same time, there's a really good chance that you could become electrocuted. You could be electrocuted. So, this is an important place to have a grounded metal fixture and the voltage sniffer will tell you that. If, if there is, if it's not grounded, then I take my tester and I hold it up to that light, it's going to light up. Uh, here's a nice example of me just doing that with my desk lamp. Now for a desk lamp, a metallic desk lamp, it, it should set off any voltage detector because none of these fixtures are grounded. If you want a cool little thing of showing you how it will not light up your tester, if it's properly grounded, just hold your sniffer up to a desk lamp and then touch the desk lamp with your finger. That will make the tester shut off. And then finally, something that the manufacturers tell you you should do, and I, I haven't found this to be super important, but manufacturers will tell you that when you're using your tester, it's important to hold it in your hand. And I'm not talking about gloves, I'm saying it should be touching your skin. Because, well, I can't completely explain it. It has something to do with capacitance and it increases the cap I'm not even going to go there. It has to do with capacitance, but you may, you may end up missing voltage if it's not touching your body. Now, this is something where I've tried really hard to recreate this and anytime I have a live wire and I put my sniffer up to it, it detects it. However, if I, if I get it close and then I start putting my hand right on it, it, right when you're at the threshold, it will change it. So there is no question about it. These devices do work better when they're in contact with your body. So that's, that's another thing that uh, if, if you're using these, make sure it's touching your bare skin for the best results. All right, 
I'm sure there's a lot more information on these that uh, I'm not thinking to share on this particular post, but this is the stuff that I think a lot of home inspectors and a lot of homeowners, a lot of people who aren't electricians, just aren't aware of when it comes to these voltage detectors. So they are they are never 100% reliable. It's it's a good tool to quickly get an idea of what's going on. All right, that's it. Thank you for watching. Appreciate it.